Hello, hello, I'm back. Here we go, guys. Are you ready to blow the internet with me? Oh, I'm so excited about this movie. I'm so excited about this video. But first things first. And so there's the little Kia so Evie. Beautiful thing, isn't it? Okay, let's let's go, let's go. As you know, it has been nine months since I have uh, uploaded anything. But uh, here we go. Here, and look, I got this package on the mail today from... Seychelles. I, don't, I didn't order anything from Seychelles, but it sure did come from there. I actually ordered these two things here. I ordered this little thingy. I hope that's what I'm... And what's all inside this box from the... On the same date, more or less. And... Uh, so here we go guys, big surprise, big surprise, for me and for you. Yes, this is just what I was waiting for. I ordered this around the last week of October, so it did take five, six weeks to get here. And what is it? You ask. Let's see what is it. Okay, mountain screws there. Oh yes. Let's touch some metal before opening the anti-static bag here. Beautiful kit. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's take a closer look. Yes, it is one of those step up power supplies. Beautiful. 30 amp step up power supply with the Extra cooling there. Nice. You can input anywhere from 12 to 60 volts and it outputs up to 60 volts. So beautiful, beautiful thing. Yes, this is this. This will be the basis of my power wall with this. I actually plan on using this two ways. First of all, I think I may I may do some experimentation with the Soul, with the Kia Soul EV and try to take some of the the 12 volt battery step it up to 48 volts so I have some last resort batteries I can I could use the cars built-in batteries but I also want to use this since I can limit amperage out and I can l limit a uh, low voltage cutoff. I plan on inputting the voltage of my power wall here which will be around 50 volts and I want to step it up to 
60 volts and I want to fit this power into one of the pips and and have that uh, and overnight I can use my power wall as a as a spare battery bank so using after seeing Paul Kennett's videos about how he built the power shelf I went ahead and got all of this Oh yes. So what are those you ask? Set right there. Four eighteen six fifties battery holders. So this is it, that's my plan. My plan is to use brand new 18650 batteries and build a power pack with these guys here. So at first um, I'm planning on building, I'm using Samsung or LG, no Samsung or Panasonic's 3.2 amp hour 18650s and I'll have to order, I haven't ordered them yet, but I'll have to order around, uh, I'll have to order around 224 cells and that will give me a bank of uh, it will be a very minimal bank for now but I'm trying to do this for under a thousand euros so it will give me two and a half kilowatt hours in this little pack built out of this and again I, I will use then this power supply to charge the batteries during the day to slowly charge the batteries during the day using my main bank, my lead acid bank and then on the long nights I'll just use this again to discharge the power pack either fitting 60 volts into the solar charge controller on one of the pips or or directly since I can adjust the output voltage and maximum output current from this to directly to my batteries but I, I just plan on draining something like 300 watts the most 400 watts the most this little guy here was sold me sold to me as a 1200 watts step up converter so I'll just use one quarter of that rating so and with the building cooling here I hope this will last let's quickly let's go look at the little EV again here it is it's a pretty cloudy day today but here it is, beautiful Kia Soul EV. This little car has a 27 kilowatt hour battery. And I have been using, as I said in the last video, I have been using it for the past month and a half. 
and it's doing great. You know, it's just the city runs, you know, I, the most I can go on the day is 50, 60, 70 kilometers, and this supposedly has a 200 kilometer, kilometer range, so I, I'm using it to the, I'm just barely using it, not using it to the most. I charge it, it lately I have been charging it overnight because it's been very cloudy, but uh, as soon as I can I want to go back and and keep on using the the solar power. Here is the charger it comes with. So all you need is this. All you need is a plug. See? It's just a 10 amp 10 amp 240 volt AC plug. I can basically charge the car anywhere I like. But I have been charging it at home since I don't go anywhere far. All right, I think this is this is already 12 minutes, guys. I'll cut it here, but I'll keep you updated. I'll keep you updated. I, I have installed this industrial fan here, and I run it when it's warm because I don't like the way the the classic 150 is mounted sideways. Even though I jump the cables inside and I put uh, the turbo cooling on. Uh, I actually, I have never seen it over 45 degrees Celsius and I only have uh, 3,000... 3,000... Do I have 3,000? Yes, I have 3,750 watts of solar panels on, on them, but I during the day, on a good sunny day, I don't see more than 2,000, 2,400 watts. So it's just, it gets it work done, but... Uh, Alright guys, thank you for watching and I'll keep you updated. Hopefully I'll have more time to do a few more videos. Ciao!